This is the Zook for Hollywood.com. We've just uh, getting ready for the Mystery Men premiere tonight. Uh, just seeing everybody who showed up, all the celebrities, and it's been a mild turnout tonight at the Mystery Men premiere. But uh, we're all really excited, as I'm sure you can tell by the look on my face. And uh, we're going to uh, go in and check out the movie. So come along and uh, let's see what happens. How are you doing Hollywood. tonight? Hollywood.com. Hollywood.com. You know, you know sure of us? Sure I do. You're on my website. Wonderful. Yeah, Wonderful. Absolutely. Sure. So this movie's about budding superheroes, wannabe superheroes. And other than, other than bionics, of course, if you could have any superpower you wanted in real life, what would that be? I've got it. Got it? Yeah. What is it? <laughs> I got some of that six million. You got some of that six million. <laughs> That's a superpower, I would say. <laughs> I'm trying to answer you as, as honestly as I know how. We're getting ready to do a big screen version of the six million dollar man. Here. Oh, wonderful. Universal Pictures, yeah. Wonderful. So we're working on our third script and then we'll, uh, we'll get it together and find a big action hero, as you say, and, uh, and see what happens out there. What would your superpower be? To read people's minds. To read people's minds. That's right. I don't think you, I don't think you want to read mine. No. <laughs> I knew I was going to run into not, that sooner or later. That might not be a good thing. I don't know. <laughs> My superpower would be uh, the ability to um, totally take over your mind right now. Uh, what? <laughs> All right, take over your mind right now. That's it. Okay. <laughs> well. What I would do is I put change in the meters for everybody. You know? oh, right on, right on, right on. <laughs> you know, tickets. You know, I just do it for a plow. Right, help Quarter out the man. people. I agree. Quarter man. You can get arrested for that. Did you know that? Yeah, you know? No. It's terrible, isn't it? <laughs> terrible thing. All right. I think, um, I think it would definitely be just to snap, you know, my fingers and be absolutely anywhere. Oh, that's good. Yeah, you save save a lot of money on like plane fare. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I think you got to go invisible. I mean, I'm, I don't think that's crazy of me either. I think if you got your choice, you go invisible. Uh, you show up for work. They don't even know if you're working, if you know what I mean. Uh, that's a no-lose situation. So I, I think that's your Thank you. When I was a kid, Ultraman. Come on, you kidding? Oh, that's, that's hard, man. I mean, I love a lot of... Come on, man. I would love to be able to, like, like Terminator, just blend in with the wall, sure. be able to disappear. Right on. Yeah. Yes, these are people with very lame powers who feel that they should go around and fight crime. Uh, that was it, which just sounded to me like a very fun idea. And then you got great people like Bill Macy and Janine Garofalo and Ben Stiller and Jeffrey Rush and Greg Kinnear, and you can never even name them all. Was it much fun on the set? Because so many comics. It was almost too much fun. I mean, you know, whenever it would get serious, I'd sort of look in the mirror. I've got a turban and fork on my head and forks in my hand. And what's your favorite Sankey? My, my favorite was Spider-Man. Because he does whatever a spider can. <laughs> if you could have a superpower, what would it be in real life? Yeah. Uh, get through the press line, oh, just man. in a That'd zippy a way. <laughs> That'd be wonderful. <laughs> <laughs>